If you're growing a YouTube channel, one of the best things you could do is make a really high-end and professional and very clear YouTube channel banner or channel art. A lot of times when people watch one of your videos, they go to your channel and they look at your channel art before they subscribe. And that channel art should look very professional and it should be very clear on what your channel is all about. So in this video, I want to show you how I create channel arts for all my channels for my clients and businesses I work with. And this is a little bit more of an advanced guide, but I'm gonna walk you step by step on how to do every single thing. Now there are a ton of ways for making a YouTube channel banner, but I think if you follow along with the way I'm gonna show you in this video, you'll be really happy with the results and they're really gonna look as professional as possible. I'm gonna show you this platform that gives you these templates for YouTube channel banners or channel arts. And these banners are created by professional graphic designers. So they are much more high end than anything you could design if you don't have a high end design background yourself. I'm not a designer. So I usually try to either hire a designer or use templates like this that they have designed. Now these templates are created for most of them are for Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to give you two links in the description of this video. One is going to bring you to this platform, Envato Elements, and then I'll show you how to find these graphic templates. The other one is going to be just a free trial link to Adobe Photoshop. And if you've never used Adobe Photoshop before, I'll still walk you through very step by step on how to turn those templates into something that could work for your channel art. So let's get started here from scratch. If you click the link and come to Envato Elements, all you need to do here is type in YouTube channel art or YouTube channel banner right on top here. So once I typed in YouTube channel art, I have some options over here and I'm going to start with Adobe Photoshop, but they do have different templates for different platforms as well. But Photoshop is by far the most common one. And here you'll see a whole bunch of different options for channel banners here. Here you could take a quick look and see which one you like. This one is one of my favorites here after I looked at a few, but let me show you basically what you get here. This will give you five different channel banners. So you could look and see which one of the five you want to start with. And every single thing you see here could be turned off or could be customized. So obviously we're going to change the text. We're going to change this picture. You could change the color. But for the most part, to create something from scratch like this, you would either have very high-end design skills or hire a very professional graphic designer. But what's nice about this is I don't have to do any of that. I could just download this from here, open it in Photoshop, and customize it and save it for YouTube. And if you haven't watched my other videos on Envato Elements, basically how it works is you pay a very low monthly fee and you get access to everything you want to download. So I get my music here, I get my stock videos and stock photos that I use in a lot of my videos and graphics like my thumbnail design, my channel art. Basically, if you have a YouTube channel, you don't have to search around lots of different places. So I usually recommend this platform because it's an all-in-one platform and in each of those categories from music to channel arts and everything else that I use, everything is pretty high-end. So I already have a subscription, so I'm just going to go ahead and press download right here to this channel banner that I like. And it's going to download a zip file once you go ahead and subscribe. So I'm going to open this zip file to show you what it looks like. And then you could decide if this path makes sense for you. Okay, so this is the YouTube channel art. Sometimes you'll have a text file too that tells you where to get the fonts that are used here. And I could just press space bar and look at the different channel banners. And you can see they left this area open for me to put my own picture here. So I'll look at a few and we could choose the one we like. Let's start with this one. I'll double click on it here and it will open in Photoshop. Now at this point, if you don't have Photoshop, click the link to the free trial of Photoshop. That will give you Photoshop for seven days and then you could decide if you want to keep it, then you'll have to pay for it at that point. But you can't use the free trial without any watermark for your channel banner. And once it opens up in Photoshop, this is what you will see. And if you've never used Photoshop before, let me just explain quickly what you're looking at. So right here is your canvas. Basically, this is your channel banner. And you'll see that it's actually longer here this way than you'll see on YouTube. And that's because this channel banner is designed for not only YouTube on mobile and desktop, but it's also designed for TV. A lot of people use YouTube on their TV. 
So it works for all of those with just one picture. So this is why it looks this way and not just a narrow banner. But if you look over here on this side, these are basically called layers. And every little thing that you see over here is a different layer. So I'll just show you if you just want to see the desktop view, if you turn this on, this is what it's going to look like on mobile and desktop pretty much. It's just that banner. But right now, if you turn this off, it's going to show you what it looks like on TV. And it gives you the different sizes here that you could see if you were to design these from scratch on Photoshop or different platforms. But basically, this is how simple it is to work with these. All your text is going to be in a folder typically. So if I turn this off, my text that I have over here goes away. And under each one of these, I could go ahead and expand this out and turn off individual things like this text doesn't make sense for me. So I could go ahead and turn that off. Now live stream makes sense for me because that's going to be my channel name. So all you have to do is make sure the eyeball is turned on so you can see it. Then you double click on the T, then it highlights it. Then you type in channel name here. So your channel name will go right over here and you could make it all caps. You could do whatever you want. You could also select this. And if you come up here, you have ton of font options. So this is one of my favorite fonts here. Right over here, I'll select that and press the check mark. So there it goes, your channel name. Then underneath is the date and time, right? So if I go over here, I see one called time. Let me turn it off to see what it is. And it's the date and time. So if I wanted to, I could double click and edit the text and add my own schedule if this was something that I was uploading videos on a certain schedule. But I'll go ahead and turn that off for now. So time is turned off, channel name of already changed. Then you have this thing where your picture would go into. So all you have to do is bring a picture into here. And in this case, I'll actually go to Envato Elements. And let's say this is a filmmaking channel. I'm going to look up filmmaking here and I'll press enter and I'll look under the photo category. And he pulled up a bunch of different stock photos here that I could use again with my subscription. That's why I like this platform. I didn't have to go to some other platform or website to find pictures that I have permission to use. I could just get them from here. So let's say I'm going to use this picture. So I'm going to go ahead and clap it for my filmmaking channel. And I'm going to go ahead and download this as well. Now in my download folder, I could right click on here and open this with Photoshop as well. And it's going to open it in Photoshop. And then if I go ahead and go to that layer here, I'm going to grab this image and bring it to this other project and I'll put it right over here. Now it's going to be much, much bigger than you need it to be. So what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and choose the zoom out tool here and I could zoom out and then I could select this layer and I'll go to edit and transform and let's go ahead and change the scale. So I'm going to get these lines here. Now I could shrink it way down. So I'm going to shrink it way down over here and I'll place it right over here. And there we go. Now I'm going to zoom back in. Let's pick the zoom tool. Let's go to the plus sign up here and let's zoom back in. And now all I have to do is I have this layer here, right? This is the film slate that I have. If I bring this layer, if I move it over here, you could move these layers basically. So if I move it down right over here, I could put it right on top right there. And there it is. As long as it's the top layer under my images and it's clipping into the shape, which is what this little arrow tells you. I didn't press anything. I just brought it on top. It's going to go right over here. So you could do this with a picture of you, for example, like if that, this was a picture you took of yourself with your face. You could basically put it here like this. So your channel name will go here. The picture will go here. Any other thing that you like, you could add anything you don't like. Maybe a lot of these shapes don't make sense. You could turn that off. So if I don't want this shape, I could just turn that off. All the shapes, as you see, can be turned on and off over here. Now, if you don't like how things are turning out, remember we got five here in that bundle and there's plenty more on that platform. You could still get for free. If you have the subscription, there's no limit on what you could download. So if you didn't like how this turned out and you rather do this and you don't want to change the color of the purple one to green, just start with the green one and it'll make your life easier. 
And if Photoshop seems too overwhelming, I do have a free beginner's guide to Photoshop on this channel too that I'll link below. So you get a little more familiar with Photoshop, then everything you get from Envato Elements will be a little bit easier to edit if how I went through this seemed a little bit more overwhelming if you've never opened Photoshop before. Now, just to wrap this up, basically once you're happy with your design, you have to just go to File, go to Export, and then you could go ahead and export this as a JPEG, okay? So if you press export as a JPEG, it lets you change this YouTube channel. So I'm gonna change this to my YouTube channel .jpeg, press save. And this is the one I just created right here. So I would just have to go to YouTube and then add this as my channel banner. And I do have videos showing you where that is in the YouTube settings as well, if that is the next step for you. But take your time, customize this as much as you want but use this professionally designed template to get you started so your end result is a lot better than if you were just starting from scratch and trying to figure out how to design this on your own. And with YouTube channel arts, you're not locked in. You could literally change it a few minutes later if you found something better. But this professional technique is what I always recommend. Start with a template that is designed by professionals, open it in Photoshop, and change just a few things, maybe the text and the picture, and you're ready to go. You're gonna get a much more professional result than pretty much any other way outside of hiring a professional graphic designer. So I wanted to make this video to show you exactly how to do that. This has been my workflow for all my YouTube channels and every YouTube channel that I work with through my business. So I hope you found it useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow social media and tech videos and I'll see you next time.